ask us anything. Um, you can ask us any com or any question, paintball or non-paintball related. Jacob has them chap lips though, and it looks like he has lipstick. Make fun of him. Uh, don't answer anyone's questions unless if it says anyone can answer, even if it says TI only. Don't answer it unless if it says anyone can answer. I don't know where the whole TI only thing came from, but yeah. All right. Um, or else you get comment banned. All right. So the court, yeah, the first one is uh. Sup, bruh. I'm Forced ghost. One. And uh, he said, for son said, uh, yo guys, I'm uh, going all out pump and I'm thinking about getting a T2, but what do you guys think is the best pump out there straight out of the box? Also, what do you guys, uh, do you guys have good thoughts on dye CG paint? Because I've never heard of you guys mention it. Well, you can't get dye CG paint anymore. It sucks. They don't make it anymore, so my thoughts on it. It's irrelevant because you can't get it anymore unless if your pro shop has like an old batch of it. And T2s are good. What else is good? The S6.5s are good. That's a good gun. And this gun's fucking terrible. Mm -hmm. But that's about it, yeah. So get a... You can get a T2. What am I? I got a feed neck for you that would fit this, a clamping feed neck. Alright, and Alec Valenzquez. Wow, Jacob, you just wrecked my last name. I probably just did it again. Uh, <laughs> I when I, when am I going to see that one. blue piece of shit set up in flames? Don't worry, Hopefully it's coming. Hopefully soon, once it starts snowing out. And Dece Last year in Michigan, it snowed in October. It's like December and it hasn't snowed yet. Well, I mean, it has snowed, but it all melted. Yeah, it's dry as a bone out. Bro, so, once it starts snowing, uh, we are going to be... Uh, Setting that thing up, dragging behind a car, giving her own personal taint test. And he's yeah. talking about his dangerous power E1 if no one knows what we're talking about. Well, I'm going to use it a little bit first and then I'm going to review it. Hopefully in the next three-ish weeks it will start snowing. Long story short, my dad bought over 500 rounds of AR-15 ammo. And we're so, going to shoot it. Yeah, we're we're going to do it with the hoppers last time, but we didn't really have enough time. Yeah, we didn't have enough hopper left. <laughs> uh, Jackson Gibbons, you guys go ham every game? T only. Um, uh, I'm a big fan of turkey. Oh, no, he's a ham guy. I, I like ham as long as it's not salty. Too salty. Well, okay, I like well, a little so bit of salt. I had ham on my actually sub this morning. So yeah. I I had uh, I had green and uh, red peppers on. Oh, my God. That was so good. The deli line. The deli? The deli. I get, I get the, expensive. I get the deli line every day. <laughs> <laughs> the subs. The subs are so good. Not They're not Subway good or Jimmy John good. That's what I mean. But, I mean, for school food, for prison food. It's pretty good. But uh, ham every time I go, I try to go ham every time I play. It just depends upon who I'm playing. If I'm um, playing Jacob, I go it's like so ham that I shoot him five extra times when he's walking out of his bunker. Same with DJ. Ham oh, dog. Like What's your job, Jake? Pornhub. Basically. <laughs> uh, Johnny Knapp. Uh, going to get a new barrel from a mini just Not sure which one, Deadly Wind or Die Ultralight. Well, that's kind of funny because I have a Deadly Wind barrel right here, so I'm going to do a review on it. Deadly Wind, what's really cool is... That you can take this piece of shit and bang it on anything you want, but it's carbon yeah, You're going to ruin my desk. Yeah, you're not going to ruin this barrel. Like, you don't have any anodizing to worry about. Very thin, very light, but with that being said, it's going to be a little bit louder because the carbon fiber is so thin that it's going to vibrate and echo a little bit more. We did a sound test. It was never uploaded. Yeah, but it, this was louder than the ultralight, and I think it was also louder than the Dangerous Power FX barrel, too. So, that will say something to you, but you can put freak inserts in there that is very oily there we go so you can put freak inserts in it so if you sh if you go to different fields then that this is something to look at because you can um you can bore your paint if you play at different fields we generally play at one field and we use one type of paint while well, we play at three different fields well, yeah about and um, they all use the same paint off the same skid so we use the same bore size every time so if you're using the same bore size every time, get a dial or get a boomstick. Actually, the boomstick will be better and more accurate and quiet than this. And the dial chiller, yeah, is a great one. Uh, not my style though, but I have it on my NT and it shoots amazingly. Yeah, they do shoot pretty fucking awesome. Frogger, I have a Tipman uh, 98 custom and I'm getting uh, into the game more. Would a Proto Rail Max be good gun? We have a Proto Rail Max. Um, if you like the Proto Rail Max, go for it. I mean, it. it's a, it's a, it's an all right gun. It's, it's definitely a little bit better than the original rail, but considering the price that it's at, it's priced right underneath of the Mini GS. But if you, 
If you have the money for the Mini GS, I would say possibly go for the Mini GS, but if you don't... I'd get the Mini GS 100 times over the Mac. But if you don't have the money for it, and I mean, because the money that you save buying the Macs, you can buy like a mask or something, then get the Macs and get some more soft goods or something. But if you have a little bit extra money, you can get the Mini GS, but just know that it's a little bit more expensive than the Rail Max. Even though the Rail Max shoots fucking amazing, it's just, it doesn't feel as cheap in the hands and stuff. Alright. Paintball at MVP. Uh, what do you think the best paint in the forty to fifty dollar range is? Um, well, we shoot marble as for sure fifty dollars for fifty dollars. So, but it's different for everyone. Premium is real good. Marbs is real good. If we got Evil it. for fifty five dollars in Arizona. Yeah, we 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 found Evil for really good prices. So if you can get Evil, I mean you're in a good price range. Duck fair some ultralight or boomstick. Definitely boomstick. I like the boomstick better. The boom, my broomstick. I, I call it my boom. broomstick because I sweep He has a kids. boomstick, but he hasn't made an Evil Dead reference. No, I haven't. He hasn't. But my broomstick, I call it the broomstick because I'm sweeping up kids when it's on my gun. All right. But it is great. Uh, that was going on Snapchat. Team Liam 0985. Invert Mini or Plenty Clips Etha? Uh, I'm going to charge the battery. I'm probably going to have to say... JK wants charge. Probably have to say the Etha, but no, the Inver Mini GS actually. I yeah. thought it was just the original Mini. I'd I mean, rather go with the GS ten yeah, times. Yeah, go with the GS. I thought it was the original Mini. Sorry, I didn't read Feels the so GS. Feels so much better. Alright. Um. Ten plus nine. Twenty one. Twenty one. You stupid. <laughs> Are you guys gonna get the Vanquish 2.0? Probably not get one, but if someone will. Loan one to us, then yeah, we'll we'll use it, abuse it, use it and abuse it. I mm -hmm. like it. Uh, Van I don't Vanessa even know. Garcia some, some Villa. Do you like the HK Army jersey? Can you say over padded in you know, the country you're from? Yeah, because the, that's what it is. If they're from Vietnam. I mean, the thing is, is that they're not like terrible quality, but they're not amazing quality. They have way too much padding in areas that it doesn't need it for the most part, from what I've seen, and. They don't breathe as well as the other ones that I've seen, and I I don't know. I like I like Velcan jerseys a lot more. Hey, look at that. There's your bone, bro. I like Velcan jerseys a lot more, and I don't know. There's other there's other jerseys uh, jerseys that I like out there that you can look more ag, but I mean, and you get better quality and better customer service and stuff. W J Brown 1994. Why is it? Dang. How many balls are in there? Oh, dang, it's starting <laughs> to come out of your porting. Um, can you guys... Oh, wait. Yeah, 15-inch carbon fiber boom stick. Why is, why is the 15-inch carbon fiber boom stick more expensive than the 17-inch? Shouldn't it be the other way around? Anyone can answer. Yes, it should be the other way around because it costs more in, in materials to make the 17-inch. But the thing is, is supply versus demand. Not many people want the 17-inch. A lot more people... Dang. Like the like the 15 inch, actually a lot more people, a hell of a lot more people. So they have to make a ton more 15 inches, and then they sit on the 17 inches. So they lower the price of the 17, so people will buy out their stock of the 17. They raise their stock of the or, and they raise the price of the 15, because a lot more people buy the 15 inch barrel. But even though it costs less to make, they're going to raise the price of it because they have to make a lot more of them. It's just supply versus demand, really. So. Um, Ryan says, new drinking game. Drink every time Jacob breaks paint in the Ask Us Anything video. What was that, that was supposed to mean? That was actually me. Oh. That was my phantom video. It, that paint that I was using was overboard really bad. Or underboard. I was using a 685 back, and I left my... I kind of left the paint out in the sun I don't I'm getting for, this ball out. For hours, and it kind of got a little bit... Or actually, I was using a 684 barrel. I'm my fan. I'm All right, Crazy kinda, Chicken 7. Yeah. I would have been so mad if you didn't play Spongebob with shoes on. Well, we're Spongebob fans, so you would. Obviously. Can you guys try the condom challenge, please? Ha! I don't yeah. know what that is. Where you take a condom and you put it in your mouth and you get it out your nose. Yeah, or, no or you put it up. No, you put it up your nose and you suck it in and pull it out of the back of your throat. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that. You'd puke. <laughs> Fair there's a missing screw in this thing. Don't play with this. Where's the, other, where's the other guns that Orb sent us? My gun came off. Where's the other guns? The, the plastic ones. In the back. 
Okay. I'm going to use those in indoor this weekend. It's like a hitting stick now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this thing looks so complicated. I'm getting a mini GS. How do I tune it properly? Just don't. Just don't touch it. And then for like 10 cases, put some paint through it. And then ask, go on PB Nation and stuff and see. I mean, it's really like, tune it to your personal preference. My personal preference to your personal preference can be different. Brandon S. My Ego 11 isn't shooting over 250 feet per second. Anyone can answer. Someone says solenoid settings. Reset, reset your board to factory. Change the battery. Take your LPR. Make your LPR flush. Relube it. Take your high pressure. Turn it all the way off and then turn it all the way back on. Set everything back to stock. Hopefully that works. And Ooh. adjust your dwell. Okay. To stock. An edgy gold mine. Man. What's the best pump I can get for under $400? Wow. Um, a Phantoms are really nice. You can get... You, see, get, here's, this dot, you get this NT. Here's pen. the thing. For under $400, you might as well just build your own custom autococker for that price. Or have someone build it for you. Like yeah, that. or have someone build it for you. Because you're short of the T2s, you're short of everything else, and the Empire Sniper is not really worth it. So, to be honest, just build an autococker like I did. I probably have at least... Three four hundred dollars worth of parts in my autococker, and it shoots fucking amazing. So in my Oracle, so yeah. Alrighty then. Happy birthday, Nick. No one cares who's Nick. You can go fuck yourself, Nick. No, not we. No one cares about you, Goldmine. I'm talking. No one cares about Nick. Wait, who's Nick? Do we have a Nick on our team. Ja remote. Okay, it's only about Canada. Um, hey, would you guys ever make a Canadian side of to your team? Like it's some Canadian. You know, we're America, not Cana not Canadian. But maybe. Maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. We thought about making maybe making an Arizona team because I was possibly going to go to college in Arizona. And if you're was, in Arizona and want to be part of Team Insane, let us know. And I was just going to create an Arizona team, but I don't think I'm going to be going to college there because I don't really need If we to. have any Jakes in Arizona. Yeah, uh, any Jakes in Arizona that are exactly like me and complete fucking douchebags. Hit us up. Yeah, let me know. Um, I had Josh Montroy. Uh, I have an axe. Do you think, uh, do you have to have a low pressure tank like the manual says, or can you go high pressure? Um, go whatever. Just don't do a super, please. just as long as you don't have a super high pressure reg on it, like the Ninja super high pressure, you'll be fine. Yeah, but those things aren't really that common to like, they, they really aren't. I mean, if you find it, if you honestly have a super high pressure, you're obviously shooting like some type of autococker that needs lots and lots of pressure to like stay going, but other than that, I mean, you're not you're not gonna really need you're not gonna need an SLP. Just keep it your reg at 500 or whatever it is stock. All right, Carlos Dominguez. Do, do, I have a DPG5. Yeah, I like it, but like to upgrade soon. Nothing over 500 dollars. What do you guys think? Get an axe though. Mm, yeah, axe you could get a used axe for 200 less for what you paid for the G5. Uh, axe or. Uh, if you want, uh, if the you're check five looks promising that we're gonna. If you buy used, why don't you get a G6R? Yeah, you can get a G6R. I'm you can get a one, DM. Maybe. Yeah. Dominic wants my G6R. I was thinking about it. For how much? He hasn't given me a price. Oh. So I was thinking free. Oh. Um. Do I get it for free too? Do I get the bro discount? After a bro job. I can do a bro job. <laughs> Ryan Lovell. Uh, would you guys be able to do uh, uh, a video about making a team? <laughs> we did that. Damn, I want to... You know, there's this really cool thing when you go to the channel. I'm going to make a video about it. But when you go to view Team Insanity's channel, off to the right, there's a little magnifying glass. If you click on that, you, you sure? can search. Yeah, you can search. Open up another tab. I got it. There's this really cool thing. I thought it was thing. on old YouTube. Nope, they have it at the very far right. Go to our channel. So, I'm going to make a video on this because everyone asked for a Planet Eclipse Etho review when we have it. No. Go to our real channel. Put view channel right here. Okay. Right next to about, there's a magnifying glass. You click on it and you type in whatever you want. Making a team. Look at that. There it is. First one to pop up. How to start a paintball team. Yep. Right there. So, for all you people that wonder... We have over 350 videos. There's a good possibility that we have the video you're looking for. 
Especially when you talk about a gun review or a huge gun show. We've done it. Look it up. We're tired of answering the questions. Anyway, mm. hey, canned food challenge. <laughs> wonder why that came up in the search. And then a dangerous power gun that somehow got a bunch of views. <laughs> um, where are we? We'd like to be able... Right here. Oh. Tim B. Tim B. I want a good mech marker for speedball. I just don't like e-guns. Well, it looks like you need an autococker, my sir. My sir. My sir. Um, Josh Pill, what's the best hopper to get? Uh, Pinocchio, Rotor, Spire. Those are just take out the Z2. Rotor. Those are all great hoppers. I don't care what he says. He's biased towards Pinocchio. I'm biased towards Rotor. Nick is just Nick. Um, yeah. Benjamin Tarango. Tarango? What's a good store that refills HPA tanks, and what is a good harness that I should get? This? Okay, oh, sounds like you play field. in your backyard, because uh, you said the uh, refills, because most fields do have refills. Uh, scuba shops will do it, though, like that one guy said. Yeah. Or any paintball field, to be honest with you. Go field like or paintball store. Paintball field. Field. Uh, and a good harness uh, with sideways pod release, a pop pack. Uh... Which pop pack? I don't really know a whole lot of pop packs that are sideways harness, but any. Just get side. one that's vertical. Yeah, just get a vertical one. Uh, also, what's better, regular pod top pods or diet lock lids? Well, the thing is, is, if you have die lock lids, you have to make sure that your pack can hold it, because not all packs can hold die lock lids. And Some of them are a little bit too fat. I'd rather just spend a dollar on the ANS pods and get colorful ones. I'd honest. rather just go pick them up at the field after Living Legends. Basically. If you want to do that yearly thing. Uh, That's when I go pod shopping. I've, all you people that take your pods and just throw them right at me when I'm recording you, they're going right into my bag. They're just like, here, Jake. I'm Pete, like, oh, Pete. Colonel. I said that wrong. What do you guys think about the E-Tech 5? Okay, it's well, considering e that it hasn't came out, but I think they definitely took it in the right direction. The E-Tech 4 was... Meh, garbage. It was garbage. I'll just say it. It was garbage. I'm not digging the grip frame still, but... They look like they made some very good improvements that were very needed. So, we will be picking one. All right, Kevin Gomez, how did you guys all meet? We were over this store a lot of time. We met over Xbox. Basically, that's a really, <laughs> that's a really short question. Very long answer. story short, we met over Xbox. Yeah, basically. There, the, we don't. I don't feel like explaining it. because We've, we've explained it in like six different videos. Maybe so. in the next Ask Us video, we'll explain it because there's a long story behind it. We're already, we're already 17 minutes in and you probably haven't already. You probably haven't. We've already made it this far. I will paint bar. Hammer 7 to KP. 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 Uh, Eli, he said to call him Eli. Happy birthday, Nick. Uh, anyways, I've got an upgraded 2010 PMR, basically the refl a reflex now, uh, that I bought used. I've got a Empire C looks and a Halo 2. A now mask. I need a tank and a pod pack. Um, I love Empire, so would you recommend a 6845 Empire Basic with an Empire React harness? Any suggestions other than Empire? Oh, I have about 160 by the New Year's towards uh, a tank, but I'm not quite sure. Look at Ninja. Yeah, basically. And wait, for wait, a pod pack. Instead of things and you cross it out, what's that supposed to be? I don't know. Make? I don't know what that is. But look at a pod pack. For pod packs, you can look at Vulcan packs. Vulcan packs are nice. Yeah. Bryce asks Lux 2.0. Wait, versus... did we answer all those questions? Yeah. He just... I mean, I would recommend Ninja, but I mean, Empire tanks aren't bad, but... Ninja okay, tanks. Yeah, yeah, Ninja's okay. been making tanks for a very long time, and they make a lot more than Empire. Bryce. That's like their big thing, is tanks. That's all they make. 2.0 versus a Geo 3.5. I mean, I like the 2.0. The Geo, the Geo's nice. It definitely, the I like both from 3.5 is nice, but the 2.0 is still the bay. The 2.0 still shoots smoother, but the 3.5 is definitely less maintenance, less that you have to do to it, and can probably shoot way, a, way better in the cold. It's a hard decision. It can shoot way better in the cold. It's just personal preference. Alex Dreamer. Honestly. If I have a shed for a barrel, should I throw out the window? Uh, should I buy a boomstick? Yeah. You should throw it out the window. You really should. Uh, and you should buy a boomstick. You really should. Josh Anderson. When is everyone going to learn that having a $400 gun budget is STI what you should get? Jake is always going to throw in the axe. Probably. It's because basically what you're going to get. Because the axe is really good. I'm going to buy you. I got you a feed neck. Don't worry. Where am I getting my actual birthday presents, though? And I'll put that toward... I'll put the feed neck. No, I was really looking forward present. to that keyboard. I'm not going to lie. Well, you know, I went Black Friday shopping and it wasn't on sale. You promised me a keyboard and... You didn't it hasn't come yet, okay? I'm paying for a trip to Disney... And he wants his, he wants an $80 keyboard. I got 
your present the day after your birthday. I know. It's been three months. Okay, but here's the thing. What did Nick get you? I don't know. Exactly. What have I got you so far? I gave nothing you good, so far. I gave you a good surprise. I spent twenty dollars yeah, on like, balloons and condoms. You gave me a good surprise in a stressful day at my locker. That's what you gave me. Basically, <laughs> putting condoms and balloons in my locker. But it's not. It's was not great when I opened my locker and there's a teacher behind me and there's sixteen condoms strapped to my locker. <laughs> And I sit all day getting, getting late to my class because I got to pop 50 balloons just to get to my books. Anyway. Um, it's the thought that counts. Don't worry. You'll, you'll get your gift eventually. All right. Colin Potter. This is my home field. I'll be playing here on Saturday. Okay. That's the point of the video. Uh, also, where were you breaking paint in your pump? Probably Where? the barrel. It was, all, it was the barrel. I wasn't chopping the paint. My bore was way too small. J Paint. How much do you want for that G6R? 800. Yeah. Realistically, though? Like, realistically speaking, though? Realistically, though? Uh oh. He's about to drop it. 450 ish. Yeah, a little bit more. Um, it is Team Insanity owned. Yeah. So that bumps it up about $500. I've used it, so. Who calls me? My mom called me. I'm going to call my Mima. Answer the next question. Um, die Ultra Light. Die. Die UP barrel is you or barrel kit depends if you're playing at different fields all the time get the you get the barrel kit get like a deadly wind kit if you're playing at one field and you want nice accuracy you have only one bore that you use don't you don't really need a barrel kit I mean you'll you'll be fine with the the die UL and especially if you use the same paint over and over again um. Empire Axe upgrades. I haven't really upgraded it at the most. Put a boss bolt in it, but yeah. Skrillex or Skr man, I've, Sir Tex kills. If you were given a gun to use for one day, would you use a Nerf tomahawk or a twenty dollar brass eagle from Walmart? Why the fuck not both? I mean, I'm gonna be using one of those brass eagles eventually. What tank should I get for a Phantom? Definitely a nine ounce CO2. Phantoms run really, really good on CO2. They run a lot better. They get up to speed a lot better. You'll be able to get the velocity that you need. Um, Mr. Team Speedy, hey, I was wondering if you guys were ever going to do a Lux review. I know DJ had one, but IDK, if he has that one anymore. And what, yeah, so DJ did a Lux review, and it wasn't bad, but the thing was is that there was a lot of background noise because we did it at the field and we just didn't like it. We just didn't. And he wanted to say it more if you're talking about the Lux 2.0. Yeah, yeah, we just didn't really want to. We just didn't air it. It wasn't Team Insanity quality. It was just kind of meh. It was like nerf to nerf quality basically if you don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Nerf, nerf to nerf. Christian has. Yes. mask <laughs> Alright, what are we at? You know what you gotta do. <laughs> What do we got? Christian asks anyone, my Proto Rail 2011 is squeaking when I pull the trigger. What Definitely do I do? try flow that bad boy. Yeah, nothing. It's probably just your spring on the inside of your trigger is probably has like a little bit of rust or something on it. I don't know. Just take a little bit of gold cup if you want and put it on the spring, but I really wouldn't recommend that. It's going to squeak. It'll be fine. Josh Pill, how often should I lube or maintenance my Proto Max? After every day of play. And if you're like me, wait a week, and then think about it the next week, and then don't do it. Yeah, and then just go out and have a bad time. Cam Smith, should I get the Dangerous Power G5 or the Invert Mini GS? I that say, I really like the GS, and I'm... You faggot. <laughs> I gotta have to go to a dentist appointment. Wish me luck. Jacob, finish off the ask us video. All right. Into the hot tub. What do you mean? It's steaming. It's hot out. I mean, yeah. it's cold out. Did you open up the cover? I didn't. Oh, because the cover looks open. Oh. Okay, where are we at? We are at. I'm not gonna answer all the rest of the questions, but I'll answer some. Um, uh, because my grandma's on her way to my house. That's gonna take a bit of effort. Um, Marcus Cameron. It seems like your fan phantom breaks a lot of paint. Hey, your fan doesn't have detents, does it? No, you can get detent rings, get a barrel kit. Here you go. Um, it does break a good amount of times. It, it's which contributes a lot to my man many words video. I take a lot of pride to make those videos. Um, 
All right, which gun is better with CO2? Uh, Empire Axe or any mini? None. Do not use CO2 on those guns. Uh, use HPA. You do not want to use CO2. It, you're asking for a bad time. Uh, anyone? Uh, poppets versus spools. Uh, preference? I like poppets. Uh, not as much maintenance. Uh, you don't have, like I said, you don't have to clean it all the time. And uh, a little bit more efficient. I mean, I love smoothness. Lux. Um, it's just I don't. I'm not a big fan of cleaning, to be honest. I don't like taking part of my gun. Uh, poppets, you don't have to take it apart that much. Uh, it's just I'm. I, that's why. That's my preference, at least. It's up to you. If it's up to you, if you like um, efficiency and not cleaning guns, or you like a smooth, buttery shot, but you have to take care of your gun basically after every time you play. All right, uh, Jake looks like a stoner. <laughs> He's a little bit of a stoner. I lost my necklace, by the way. It was the cross, and uh, it was my our cross joint. If you find a cross necklace uh, near you, it's probably mine. Um, so let me know if you actually do find one, because I was pretty pissed when I found out uh, it's not on my neck anymore. Okay, I got cut off. I think this, this video is pointing a bit down. There we go. Now it's pointing a bit. There it was. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, um... Bravo Tango Cheesecakes asks if um, the 2011 Azodan Blitz is it a good paintball gun. I only have $200. Save up your money is something better. Get a used axe. Get a mini GS. Uh, something other than Azodan Blitz. Nick had one. And it sounded like he was using a jackhammer on the field. And no, I'm not talking about an e -tech. Uh, It. I'm not a big fan of them. I mean, if you don't want to go for like a used axe or like a mini... I mean, yeah, but it's not worth it in the long run, in my opinion. Uh, Riley Self, what are your thoughts on the Dangerous Power E1? Because I just got one not too long ago. The E1 is sitting over there, um, waiting to be used, and then uh, respectfully destroyed. Uh, ran over under a card, because someone sent it to us in a uh, for destruction test. My quick review, it's worse than a regular Mini. Uh, I had a Mini. And Jake hates the mini, and when he finds a gun that's worse than the actual mini, you know it's not that great. But, like I said, it's a beginner gun. Uh, some people love it. Michael, one of our fans, he loves his Dangerous Power E1. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't like the barrel. I don't like the trigger. I don't like how it feels. But it's a beginner gun. You get what you get. In my opinion, it's not worth it. Uh, but to each their own. Uh, WJ Brown, 9994. Uh, Boomstick. Or super freak barrel kit, anyone. Uh, I'd get the boomstick. That's just my opinion. It shoots so much better. Uh, expensive. Well, I don't have one. I shot Jake's. I like my deadly ones barrel. Um. Uh, okay, so Team HK Army Paintball. I just got the Lux 2.0, and the O-ring on the ASA keeps tearing quite often. Uh, any advice? Uh, try uh lubing up the O-ring. Um. Uh, I've never really had that problem to be honest. I could ask DJ, but make sure you actually have the right sized O ring in there. If you bought it used, it could be that someone else put it else in there. If it's new, just try replacing it and may just come faulty and it's tear. Um, just make sure you're putting the right one in there. Make sure you actually lube it up. Um, and who's Travis? Travis is a member of the team. He's our boss's son. His name is uh, Tr Travis, a DJ's son. DJ is your coach. Alright, so we uh, got Neil Flack. Jacob, uh, what do you recommend for glasses under a sports mask goggles? Uh, contacts or straight up glasses? Right now I'm wearing contacts. When I go to school, I wear contacts. When I'm at home, I wear glasses. Uh, so when I actually play, I don't wear anything, which is not good because I'm a back player, so I have to be able to see it. Um, lately, I've been wearing contacts. The thing I don't like about contacts wearing it all the time is, I don't know why, but I can feel the contacts sitting on my eyeballs and it's really annoying. So as soon as I'm able to take them off, I take them off. If I don't have to wear them, I don't wear them. But um, E-Flexes, um, they work great with um, glasses. Soda, um, the grills are fine with glasses. They're a little bit snug. I-4s are still tight, but they still work. Uh, my glasses are small, so I don't really have to worry about that much. Um, but to be, if you want like comfortable, and uh, sometimes if you're running around, your glasses kind of tilt, and then you can't reach up your mask, 
Uh, I definitely wear glass uh, contacts. Uh, Daniel Heap, what kind of tank should I get? Get a uh, Ninja 6845 Gorilla. Uh, one of those 6845. Uh, they're great gun uh, tanks. Really standard for uh, most players. Uh, CM McCarthy. Uh, die I fours or Virtue Vios? Definitely Die I fours. We had Virtue Vios. We gave them away. I wasn't a big fan of them. I mean, you could customize the crap out of them, but Vios is a lot more comfortable. They look better, in my opinion. I wasn't a huge fan of the Vios. Um, that's basically it. I didn't answer all the questions. Wrapping it up. Um, Jake left, and I gotta go help my grandma or something, to be honest, because she's uh, living with us for a little bit. So, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed some of my pre previous videos. Some people got a little PO'd at the uh, Mad Many Words video, and I thought it was pretty funny. Um, thanks for watching.